So this video is how to go to no from nothing to multi-million uh, property portfolio, um, but straight speaking as well. Now, um, I'm going to first say it's easier than you think. It's, um, when I look back with hindsight, it's so much easier than I thought it would be. I thought that having a million pounds worth of property would be an extraordinary thing and I actually did it really quickly. I got um, a 1.8 million pound portfolio and then jumped up my day job and then just kept going. So it's an awful lot easier than you think simply because it's a repeatable thing. So there's going to be time, money and skills that are problems to you. You probably haven't got all the skills right now, you, whether they're your own skills or other people's skills, you probably haven't got all the time and you probably haven't got all the money. Right, let's take the one that's going to stop everybody mentally first, money. That's not the impediment. Um, the, the impediment's actually time. So money, um, I, I, I probably can just tell you how to go from nothing to multi-million pound portfolio because that's what I did. A, I had a, a very little money. I took some out of my house, uh, I refinanced my property in order to start my property portfolio and then government legislation came in and I was very, it was very difficult for me to use that money uh, in, a, in a, any kind of productive long term way so, uh, because they put in a six month rule. So what I then did was go, no, 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 that's not going to stop me, um, that's just too, too slow for my liking and I went out and I raised private finance. So I make it sound so easy. Um, it isn't difficult, but you just need to write a campaign, deliver on it, speak to a lot of people, uh, n make sure you're legally compliant, make sure you're responsible for the money, and you raise the money. And obviously people get a great return, and in order for people to earn money from you, you have to be pretty decent at being able to find deals for people to be able to get their money back. So. Uh, raising private finance, I just want to put it into your brains right now, go look at all my other videos about uh, raising finance, is not the hardest thing in the world. Um, money is not the thing that will stop you. Time will. I, so let's move on to skills and then we'll go back to time. So skills, you, you guys just write a plan for who you need in your business. Uh, now, it'll be you, it'll be a financial broker, a bookkeeper, an accountant, a tax advisor, conveyancing solicitors, commercial solicitors, I hope you're writing all this down, builders, plasterers, electricians, uh, um, chippies, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, laborers, now some of them will come as a package in a building firm, sometimes you buy them, buy them in, if you like, individually, um, plasterers, uh, landscape gardeners, gardeners, uh, cleaners, window cleaners, men with vans, handymen, washing machine repair people, um, oh, pest people, they're really important to us. So it's basically everything you'll need for um, letting out property and everything you'll need for uh, uh, developing up properties to buy to sell. So figure out all the skills you need and then go recruit a whole bunch of people. It doesn't mean to say you recruit and say, hey, I've got a job for you tomorrow. It means that you sit and have a long list of people that you know that you've met, you've liked, you've checked their insurance, you've checked their qualifications, you feel, uh, you've feel you checked their previous work and you feel that um, you've taken recommendations, you feel you could work with them. So that is skills. Plan way in advance what skills you need, uh, including your own skills. So your own skills, organise yourself, educate yourself. I've been working for seven or eight years with a mentor. I provide mentoring education myself because I love passing on this information. Figure out who's good to work with, who will kick your butt, who will um, uh, identify what areas you need to fill in and get yourself educated. Read shed loads, watch all the vids, you know, all that stuff. Um, we've got lots more stuff for you on the, on the um, website. That's thegoodpropertycompany.co.uk. So we've done money and I've basically said, guys, uh, it's not that tricky. If you don't have the money yourself, you'll be able to raise it as long as you can find good deals. Oh, and then we've done, sk we've done skills, which is about figuring out who's in the team. Now let's come on to time. Time is going to be your game changer. So me, I kind of took a massive big deep breath. I had uh, two little children, or, uh, or medium-sized children. They're like, you know, un tens, you know, uh, a ten and twelve, yeah, at the time. So I had two uh, medium-sized children, uh, but they still needed a huge amount of attention and, and I still wanted to give them a huge amount of attention and love. Um, and I had a full-time job that was actually a really quite demanding job, I was at director level, so uh, time was a game changer. So uh, I uh, kicked off the first 18 months by doing 30 hours on top of my day job. So what did that look like? It meant that I got up before the kids and I spent time in property. I actually, for the first time in my professional career, took a lunch break and spent 45 minutes on property. And then when the kids fell asleep, I spent time on property. Saturdays, they didn't really want to hang out with me too much because they'd be like, Mom, you're not cool. And they hung out with their friends. I did like a 13-hour day on property until they came home and put them to bed. Sundays was sacrosanct. It was family time. So 
So time is going to be your game changer. And then what I did was I took Fridays off as holidays. So we didn't have a proper family holiday that year. I just worked Fridays. And then my employer was very kind and I went down to a four day working week. So I had Fridays off anyway. And then I really regularly took the Thursdays off. Time is the game changer. And the more time you can put into this business in the first 18 months to two years, the better returns. The better you'll get because you'll be more effective because you'll be repeating things quite uh, quickly. So you'll learn from your mistakes. Um, and, and you won't get demotivated because you're only putting a small amount of time in and not seeing much results come back out. So, how to go from zero to multi-million in property? Just a quick recap, buy discounted deals. Raise private finance to buy those deals, joint venture on those deals, make sure you're compliant of course, um, and uh, buy and sell to keep cash flow coming in and buy and keep to keep long-term revenue coming in. Recruit amazing people who are going to be part of your business and figure that out in advance so that you're not kind of scraping around going, oh my God, where's my builder? You've got a list of 20 builders you've already met, and I mean 20, because they'll all be busy when you need them. You've got 24 plumbers. We, we honestly have a list of 24 plus plumbers in case we have any problem and a boiler bro blows up on a Saturday afternoon. They're all out watching rugby, having a few beers. And then set aside and manage your diary to put time in. See, it's not sexy stuff, it's just basic stuff. And then your job is to buy the assets discounted, buy and sell to make the cash, buy and uh, let out to make rolling revenue and refinance, pull all or most of your money back out and go again. And go again as fast and as quickly as you possibly can, build up that multi-million pound portfolio, jump out your day job. Me, I took 18 months to build a 1.8 million portfolio, jumped out the day job and just kept going. And we ended up sourcing over 200 deals uh, purchase price agreed of 30 million quid, which were worth after refurb 45 million quid. And I was the biggest buyer of my sourcing business. So do you see, it really doesn't take long. I mean, 18 months to build a 1.8 million portfolio. That's incredible. I don't mean incredible for me. I mean, that's an incredibly short period of time. And um, so you guys can do it too. So the purpose of this video is to simplify so that you can go, okay, right, Suze, I get the bone structure of this and hopefully make you appreciate that this is something that's completely reachable for you too. So go for it. Right, I think my tea's up. I'm in Barcelona, by the way. See you soon, bye.